Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will learn about browser stack. So we will go very basic step by step and learn what is browser stack, how to create an account on browser stack and finally we will run our selenium tests on browser stack. So let's get started and I will go to the browser Google and search for browser stack and you will find this option browserstack.com which is the official website and here you can see the only testing infrastructure you need so browser stack is a platform that provides you all the infrastructure the combination of operating systems browsers and devices that you can use to test your applications on so you can test your mobile apps and websites on all these operating system and de devices and browsers combination so that you do not have to maintain such infrastructure locally so this is what browser stack is and if you go to the products you can see we have live for interacting with cross browser test testing we have automate for selenium testing at scale if i go to automate you can see the browsers and devices here and here you can see all the list of browsers and devices so for android you can see all these options are available and you can run your tests on any of these and if you go to ios Similarly, you can see all these options are available and then you can also see other uh, options like live, app live, automate, GS testing and so on. So now let us first create an account on browser stack. So go to sign in here and here if you already have an account, you can sign in or go to sign up here and then create an account by giving your email password and uh, you will get an activation link on your email. So you can activate a, your account and then you can finally sign in here so i already have signed up so i will use my email and password to sign in and let me give my password as well it should be at so i will sign into my account of browser stack yes so it is signing in now and here you can see this is your account and if you go to this account and go to settings you will find your access key as well that you can use in your selenium script so you can see under the automate section you have your username and your access key so now how to use it in your selenium let us see I will go to my Eclipse and go to my selenium project and I will create a new class here so I will go to my demo package you can use any package to create a new class and I will say right click class browser stack demo and finish so I have got a class and now I have to write a code so for that what you can do is if you go to your browser stack let me go to the browser stack website again and let us see some documentation so you can also get the documentation from your account page if you go to your account page and go to your dashboard uh, or go to this top you will see get help and from there you can see view documentation so you can view the documentation from here as well and if you go here you will find this documentation and you can go to the developers option here on browser stack and here go to automate and then you will find this different languages and support so we are going to use for Java for now so you can go to Java and here you will find this documentation of selenium with java and if you go a little down you can read the prerequisites getting started and here you can see the you can select the operating system and device so whatever you want to run on you can select from here and here the device and then you will get this code generated so you can see this code is here so i'm going to just use this already generated code i will copy this and paste into my Eclipse here and as soon as you do it you will get some errors so you have to import all these libraries so desired capabilities I will import from org open QA selenium remote and similarly web driver I will import from org open QA selenium then I have to import the remote web driver again from org open QA selenium remote and then we have web element and import this as well you can also press ctrl shift o on your keyboard or command shift O if you are on Mac and you can select all the imports from here but I will just do it one by one from here the URL I will take it from 
uh, java net url and the by class again i have to import from open qs selenium so now the code is error free and you can see what it is doing is you have to give your username you have to give your automate key and you can see it has already taken it because i have already signed in and then i have gone to that page so you can see it has already taken my username and access key in case you do not have it here you can always go to your account settings account settings and copy it from here so you can get your username here and your access key here okay so it has already taken mine and now you can see here you give the all the desired capabilities and you give the browser name device name if it is a real mobile true or false os version and all the settings you can give here also one thing that you can do is uh, let me just show you if you go to if you go to your browser stack and if you go to selenium uh, let me just show you okay this is my earlier tests so here again you can go to get help and you can go to selenium capabilities so in the documentation you will find all this and you will find selenium capabilities as well here so if you go here selenium capabilities you will find this capabilities generator so here you can select your options and it will generate the code for you for example you can select uh, let me say I am selecting Windows 10 here so you can see the code has changed I am selecting browser resolution all this you can select from here you want to give some project name test you want to give some build name build one you want to say what is the test name this is test one you can see all this is getting generated here if you want to see the uh, generate screenshots network logs is true and then you can just copy this and paste into your code here so for now let me just show you with this particular run or let me just copy this and show you this i will copy it from here and paste into my code here so you can see it is running on windows 10 and chrome browser and i can now and it is going to google and uh, putting browser stack on the google search bar and then submit and then it is printing the title so let us see i will do a right click run as java application and now if you go to your browser stack dashboard if i go to the dashboard and you should see yeah so you should see a new test running and yes you can see this is now in progress and it is running on windows 10 and chrome 62 so it is in progress and you can see the build id started duration so the test one is the name that we gave and you can see the test one is coming here and this is in progress and these are some of the earlier tests so let me while it is being executed let me show you some earlier test so this was a test i ran on google pixel and here is how you get the logs and reports so this is the status session id started duration uh, the device name local testing username capabilities so you can click here and see what are the capabilities you sent the browser capabilities you can see here and then you get a screenshot or you get a video recorded here so you can click here and you can see the video recorded so you can see this is a google pixel device and it is running my test there goes to chrome browser goes to google.com enters browser stack and hit center and yes so you can see this is how you can get a video recording as well done here and then if you go down you get the logs so all these text logs you get you get visual logs as well so visual logs are the text logs along with the screenshots so you get all this and then we have console logs and then we have network logs and apm logs in case you are using apm and then we have raw logs as well so if you click here you will get all this raw logs and also if you do not get network logs then you might need to set some capabilities so for example on this session i have not got network logs because i have not set this browser stack dot network logs equals true so we have to set that and now let us go back to our run so now you can see this is executed and 
you can see this is completed and if you go to test one you will get all the details all the details here of the environment and all the logs here and the recorded video so you can go here and see the recorded video so it opens the chrome browser and it should go to google.com let us see let me yes it goes to google.com and it should enter browser stack in the search box yeah here it entered browser stack yes so this is working fine and you can see all your details here so of course this is a free plan so you get 100 minutes and you do not get uh, parallel testing so you can only one run a single session but if you get a paid plan you can also get parallel testing here so let me just show you this if you go to your browser stack you will find an option for pricing as well so let me just show you we have products here and on the main website let me just log out and you will get a pricing here and you can see all the prices here so you can select the parallel test that you need how many parallel test how many users you need and then accordingly you can see the prices and of course if you go to products you can see all the products here automate you can go here and here you will get browsers and devices and selenium capabilities that we just saw so these selenium capabilities are the ones that you can use to generate your code for your capabilities what browser what device what version what browser version all this you can set and like this you can run your selenium tests on browser stack and these are some useful links i will provide all the links in the description or notes section of this video and i hope this session was very useful for you do some more hands-on so that this is very easy and efficient for you and share your knowledge with others and help everyone. I will meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.